Hello guys and welcome, it is the SRB2 Dude here today bringing you yet another episode of How To Get Good, the series where I go ahead, use a weapon, all its variants, and also show a hand cam to tell you guys everything about this weapon and what's going on with my hands as I'm playing it. Now this is a little bit of a post commentary since I didn't think the intro commentary was that good, so here I am to explain what you're going to be seeing in this episode. So as you can see, I'm using the 52 gal. Now I really want you guys to take a notice of the build of this first first 52 gal that I'm going to be running. As you can see, the most notable thing is going to be the Ninja Squid. Now, why I'm using this is mainly because the 52 gal is, of course, a two-shot killing weapon, and it has a fairly fast fire rate, so majority of the time, if you are close up to someone and you hit two shots, they are going to die very fast. So the addition of using Ninja Squid with this weapon will allow you to get up close to your opponents and kill them in two shots very quickly. Uh, also, one thing to note, the 52 gal comes up with a lot of RNG, so the Ninja Squid also helps in that, as you can get close to people and usually have the opportunity to get your first shot onto an opponent, instead of your opponent noticing that you're approaching them. Now, one thing about the vanilla 52 gal is that it comes with point sensor and baller. The point sensors are only going to help with your ninja squid play just a little bit more because you'll be able to mark everybody onto the map and it'll give you better awareness to know where your opponents are going and how you can approach them using your ninja squid. Honestly, it actually makes it so much easier to use. The rest of the build is fairly standard. You got all your little perks there, quick super jump, ink resistance, bomb defense, ink recovery, and of course, swim speed to make your swimming speed a little bit faster than Ninja Squid. Now, just one note, the very first game that you're going to see is not exactly the first game I played recording this. The very first game I recorded, I did win, and it was actually a pretty decent showing, but I feel like it wasn't good enough of a game to actually show you the usage of how the 52 gal works. So you may hear a little bit of commentary talking about a first game, which you, of course, you didn't see. So just to let you guys know that so you aren't confused. And of course, it doesn't make the video as long as it is. So anyways, that's all I've got to say as post-commentary me. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so here we go once again. Fingers crossed that we get some sufficient paint, all right? And it's also going to be played on the same map, which is, you know, perfectly fine for me because Wall is great on this map too. So... And first of all, uh, okay, that's actually, look, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. I like this. I mean, we actually are going against a harder comp this time. So please play. <laughs> My dude's just staring into the sky. Okay, he's moving. He's moving. Okay, cool. Now, better point sensor there. Unfortunately, this time we don't even actually get anything. But there we go. Get, we got one guy at least. Uh, just got to be careful here. We do. I do have three guys marked. So now I have good information of where everyone is. There we go, taking out one, just going to survive from the dynamo. Uh, do I... This dynamo is just watching me right now. Actually, I don't know if he... that was the dynamo watching me there. But either way... Ooh. I'm going to ball a hit. Uh, okay. That, that guy just fell off the map. <laughs> I'm fine with that. But I will mark those two there. Hopefully we can actually get something down. The VG2 gal doesn't paint that well compared to its uh, its older brother. <laughs> the 96 gal does paint a lot better than the 52 gal. I mean, not like amazingly, but like, uh, you know, it'll, it'll definitely get a lot more paint down, especially from its uh, far, further shots. So I'm going to quickly get a baller here. And uh, we've got like full control here. We just got to be careful about that dynamo. Now that I can kind of move around wherever I want, it should be a much easier job to actually uh, do a couple of things. Now I'm just going to slowly make my way here. No, I'm not actually going to challenge that. Don't that kill me, Dynamo. I'm actually... Oh, no, the Dynamo is now dead. The last one is the Dooley Scorcher. I'm actually not too sure where he is. Uh, where is he gone? I don't know if... I don't think he's on our side. He definitely must be coming out of spawn. Okay, no, no, he's on the, he's on the snipe. He's on the snipe. Okay, I threw the points in the worst position there. There we go. We actually getting a couple kills there. We do have word of one guy on the left side thanks to the point sensor. If you notice, point sensors are like super good when it comes to, I guess, the solo environment because you can kind of just spam them out uh, literally everywhere. And it's basically, it's basically your silent call out in solo queue. So like, you know, if you ever want to want to know where everyone is, and there you go. You just spammed them out. Maybe be careful that dynamo there. Hopefully he backs up into the point sensor. No, actually, I gotta get up the zone. 
The thing is, why I gotta get up to zone there? Dynamo throws the Booyah Bomb in the middle of the zone. I am basically dead. Especially if you're underneath. So, gotta be careful, like... You know, if there is a Booyah Bomb and it, you kind of expect someone to actually throw it around there, uh, just be careful. Oh! Wallering! Oh my god, it, I just instantly popped. I never knew that was actually a thing. Uh, this is a dually of some sort, but now he's actually gonna take, be taken out there. Uh, but that's perfectly fine. We're alive, we're kicking. I'm gonna toss the point sensors over. Hopefully... Well, I don't believe anybody actually fell to the bottom left there, but I figured I should check. Now someone has. One more hit. Thank you very much. Alright, I actually hit him with some nice fall up there, so... Pretty nice there. And it's almost... We've got five minutes left. Well, not five minutes left. It's, uh, it's probably going to be a full five-minute game. Depends on how this goes right now. Uh, oh, the Dynamo. Okay, the Dynamo actually gets me this time. There we go. Oh, no, that's actually not that good. We do have the beacon there. This... Uh, Dooley's just going to survive. There we go. Nice. Good job, guys. All right. So, that was a much better game. We actually had just much better pain because the first one is just like we couldn't really approach and thus we just died constantly because we couldn't really approach like we didn't have ex exactly the most efficient paint there so it was a fairly good game i'm quite happy with that let's go on to the next night the next night six out the next 52 gal all right so I'm making some changes the only thing i'm really changing is my hat uh, i'm gonna be putting special charge on because i am using uh a stingray and I am also a 52 gal with a curling bomb. I'm not even too sure what this 52 gal is trying to achieve, but it is trying to achieve something. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can do with this. Okay, so my first lobby kind of bugged out. I can't even, even get into it, but here we go. All right, it took me like three minutes to get, get, finally get into a game. Okay, so going to be on Sturgeon Shipyard. Now, the 52 gal deco in this game is a very confused weapon because you have a curling bomb and you have a stingray. So it's not, it's like, do I want to be aggressive or do I want to like throw, do I, do I want to backline and do stingray stuff? It's, it, it's pretty confusing, but the curling bomb on this weapon is super nice because then you can just kind of push in however you want. And uh, also change it, change it with the chain it with the ninja squid at the same time. Now I kind of wanted to throw that uh, cutting bomb in a better placing there. I'm just gonna actually chill here. Hopefully, okay, the sploosh is coming here. There we go. If I can easily take this guy out, do there we go. Thank you very much. Now looking for that guy. He's on the right side. Do I? Okay, now my teammates got that guy. I do have a Stingray, but honestly, I gotta be really honest with you guys, I don't know when to use it. <laughs> I mean, maybe I could use it, I could actually use it now, I think I'm gonna actually position myself on the snipe, just in case anybody's actually going there, but... Uh, there is a guy here. This is a very confusing weapon, I mean, I feel like you'd probably get more usage out of this weapon if I was playing, I mean, if I was probably playing it on, uh, poor Mackerel, I'd probably get tons more usage out of it, but especially with the Stingray, but... Uh, this map, I mean, it could work. Maybe you could probably, like, position yourself here, and, like, once you've got control, you can kind of, uh, use it to take people out and snipe. Uh, yeah, it's a strange weapon, but we'll, s I mean, we're, we're doing what we can at this point. Uh, there is a guy going below. Thank you very much. Not happening. No, 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 no. Oh, I might actually get my teammate killed here. Okay. Okay. No, he's still alive. Cool. That's exactly what we want. We just want to, like, paint the zone at this point. Uh, I'm not gonna like play into anybody's play any into anybody's games here. There's a guy over here. We're gonna stingray now. I'm not the greatest stingray user, but I'm probably gonna get better with it as soon as I continue to play uh, this game and people who use what's it called? Well, weapons that use stingray. There we go. Nicely done. Didn't have to really do too much there, but you know, honestly, I'm just glad I don't have to play this thing anymore. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is a very confusing weapon because you can get a lot of usage out of the curling bomb. Like you can just paint, like paint a line, and then just you swim through with you th swim through it with ninja squid. And the stingray is just kind of there if you, if you're in a decent stingray spot. Like yeah, <laughs> I'll just take, I'll just say that for sure. Right, I'm going to be using the Kenser 52 gal now, the mini mouse weapon. 
And uh, I'm actually going to be using the same build that I used for the uh, very first 52 with the point sensor and all that. So let's see what we can do with this and uh, let's get into it. Okay, so finally we're getting into the games, guys. So this is going to be a very last game, hopefully. Uh, it's going to be on Sturgeon Shipyard once again. And uh, it's on Splat Zones, as you know. Now, we're going to be using the Kensa 52 gal. We are... We have got a pretty decent composition, I would say, myself. Uh, the tent up the wall would be really good for us. Uh, I'm going to be using my wall. I mean, this 52 gal is very rem reminiscent to the old 52 gal in the um, Splatoon 1 right now. Uh, but it doesn't quite play like it. <laughs> well, it kind of plays sort of like it. The Booyah Bomb is very helpful, uh, nevertheless, so... There you go. We're going to take out two guys there. I don't know exactly where anybody else is, but so we're going to just go ahead and quickly paint. Uh, the H3 is on our side. I don't know where the Nautilus is. That's the worrying thing right now. I have no idea where the Nautilus is right now. Throw the wall out. Oh my god, what in the world is that? <laughs> I mean, he's dead, but what was that? <laughs> he definitely sloshed more than once in like a couple seconds. Okay. Either way, let's uh, go ahead and... Uh, paint this up, and I am going to be close to a Booyah Bomb. Can I actually take this guy out? Oh, okay, we're going to take that guy out easy. Uh, Got to be careful about this inkjet right here. Oh, he knows exactly where I am. I'm actually going to Booyah Bomb, just so I can stay safe. Booyah Bomb in the zone. Uh, thank you very much. That slosher is a little suspect, I'm not going to lie, guys. Uh, hopefully I can get a kill here. There we go, thank you very much. The kill is mine. I'm just going to paint this up. I'm not going to let this T-Tech push or decide to push. And I'm going to back up now. I actually have a uh, Booyah Bomb again. So I can definitely use this uh, in a very helpful situation. Or well, maybe do I Maybe I just want to shock somewhere. I could just do that. Or maybe I can throw the Booyah Bomb early. Yeah, let's, let's do that. We'll throw the Booyah Bomb early. Throw in a weird spot when they might push. Okay, there's actually... They're all, they're all trying to go right side right now. Get an easy kill there. Oh. Don't kill me! <laughs> God dang. I, th I don't even think I should have challenged that. I felt confident that I could have and maybe have won it, but uh, it wasn't it wasn't in a too good position for me there, so. Okay, we're taking out one. That's always a good start. And, uh, that guy here? No? Did I see that correctly? No? Okay. Well, we have Cloud going into the zone right now. Oh. I did kill one, but the Octo Shot is below. Actually, no, he's on the right. So we got to be careful about this guy on the right side right now. Oh, not the right side, the left side. Definitely the left side there. Okay, nice. Uh, decent trade. We should hold control a little bit. Oh, I almost caught the slusher there. I'm actually going to jump back. No, oh, where's my quick super jump? I mean, I did have quick super jump there, but... You know, it was just a little bit unfortunate there. Uh, the timing wasn't all that great for us. Toss the wall out. Gotta be careful. I can't hold onto the wall as long as I'd want to. The Nautilus is gonna chase me. Actually, no, the H3 is gonna chase, chase me there. Nautilus is still in our court area. So we just haven't dropped yet. I mean, I did kill one, which was fairly helpful, but now we don't wanna, like, we're kinda dropping in like flies right now. So not too great for us. The Octo Shot is positioned in a strange spot. And I don't think I'll be able to get the zone. Oh. Booyah, the zone, it's not going to happen, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately for us, it's not going to happen. But either way, I mean, I did my best of it. I feel like I could have showed a lot bit more of that game. I don't know. It's definitely fairly possible. We didn't exactly have the greatest things on our side. Okay, so to give a conclusion on this episode with the 352 gals that we have used, like, I'd say the best two definitely out of the three that we have. I mean, I like the 52 gal deco, but it's very confusing to how its kit works. Uh, you have the curling one, which you can do some really good aggressive things. It's basically like a ninja squid and get close to someone uh, killing type of weapon and, you know, making sure you hit those shots. But personally, I prefer using the 52 gal, the regular one, out of all of them. Mainly because the point sensors are really, really helpful uh, when you're just trying to figure out where everyone is. 
and you can kind of use ninja squid to your advantage there because you know exactly where someone is and you, if you're watching how they're moving uh, you can of course use ninja squid to your advantage there to get closer to them uh, without being noticed easily so you can kind of it's it's a lot easier to predict if you're going to actually take out someone uh, or not with uh, this type of weapon. I like the Kensa 52 gal. I mean, we did lose with it, but it wasn't like... I mean, it was... We did have a good showing with it, at least. And, of course, this is something to understand that losing does happen in this game. Like, you're not going to obviously win every single game. So, uh, you know, definitely during this series, we will have some losses at times. I mean, hopefully not every single time because I'd actually like to show off uh, how the weapon works. But uh, I think the 52 gal... Uh, well, the Kensa 52 gal can be very helpful as well uh, as the wool can be very helpful in wool play. I mean, wool isn't as strong as, in this game as it used to be, uh, but definitely I think wools can be very helpful with this weapon, especially to your closer range targets. Uh, any sort of weapon that kind of struggles against, well, basically any close range target that has that doesn't have like a slap or more anything like that. So, you know, can be very very helpful with that. Basically, on what I'm talking about is rollers. So. Uh, but Booyah Bomb, also very helpful. You could probably actually use this with, uh, something like Special Charge, just so you can get them quicker. Uh, I believe the Kensa 52 gal actually has, it has a 180, uh, for Special Points. So if you put, like, if you put, uh, this amount of Special Charge, you get it to 165, somewhere around there. So, uh, that'll be very helpful for that. And, you know, kind of just depends on what you guys want to do. Like, I think the, the you know, the Kensa, the... The regular one is probably the best one, just because the point sensors can be really helpful, and the baller does help with paint as well. And the beer bombs can be helpful as well with paint as well, but it's just, you know, it's a lot easier to get taken out from it, and you've got to use it in more safer situations, so... Yeah, that is basically my conclusion of this weapon. Hope you guys have enjoyed, uh, you know... Hope it was very informative as this series is trying to strive, just trying to strive the most informative information that you guys can uh, consume. Hopefully you learned a thing or two about this weapon, especially the regular one, because I mean, as you can see, I've had 500,000 ink already on this weapon. I didn't even realize I had that much. I mean, I, I played this weapon a lot uh, at the very start of the game, so, you know, probably probably why it's like that. But either way, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you have not already, follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Twitter, link description below. Do it for both of you feeling generous. Make sure to hit the bell notification button. This is subscription button to let you guys know whenever I upload a video. And also continue joining my public Discord in the description below, where you can go ahead and talk to myself and my Duke Society community. So with all that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I shall see you guys in a future one.